Hello, this is going to be a quick follow-up video um, to the Folding at Home Machine Learning Workstation video I posted a few weeks ago. In that video, you'll recall that Shopify and MindBridge were in a folding competition, and at the time Shopify were winning. So uh, I had a motherboard in my basement that I got out and I managed to get to work uh, on my bench and I plugged in a Tesla K80 card into it and I set out about folding. And the good news is, the competition ended on May the 4th and MindBridge had a commanding lead at that time. You'll see there when they were winning was just the early stages, uh, which is before I posted uh, that last video. So it's pretty amazing uh, that a team that was about third the size, MindBridge was a third the size folding team to Shopify, that we were able to win. More on that later. So I wanted to keep this workstation, uh, but I needed to put it in a case. I didn't want it sitting on the bench. So I managed to find this uh, Fantex N2719 that would fit the motherboard. I also upgraded the CPUs. So I had I had six core CPUs in and I upgraded them to 12 core. And these CPUs also, their base clock is higher and their boost clock is higher. So a pretty good upgrade. The other thing that I did was um, I wanted to uh, get another um, uh, NVIDIA Titan XP. I already had one of these cards, so I bought a, a I bought a matching, uh, another one to match it, and then I can put two, um, two Titan XP cards into the, into the system. So this is what it looks like, all assembled. You'll see there it's consuming about 800 watts. Um, so this has a 1600 watt power supply in it, and you can see there the two Titan XPs. Um, it still has the original um, CPU coolers and fans that came uh, with the motherboard that I showed you in the last video. Um, and they work perfectly fine. You can run this system for weeks and it stays cool, it's not throttling, um, works really well. So how fast actually is it? So I ran a uh, Geekbench 5 uh, benchmark on it. You see the single core is 736. Um, multi-core score is 12,178. So I wanted to see uh, what compares with this and I was particularly interested in the multi-core score because I knew this system would do really well multi-core. So the closest I could find, uh, which is just a little bit above the multi-core score is the Ryzen Threadripper 2950X. So the single core uh, speed of the Threadripper is about 30% higher than mine, uh, than my Xenons. Um, but multi-core is about the same. And for context, this CPU is about $1,000 to buy relative to um, my Xenons, which were about 360 or something like that. So here is the folding at home client. Um, for this mach machine, you can see the two Titan X's and the CPU. Uh, one thing I would point out is the points per day of this machine. So uh, it says here uh, 2.8 million points per day is the estimate, and this system will achieve that. Um, I'm not gonna be using it for folding much longer. I'm going to be using it as a machine learning uh, workstation. So one of the problems that we had during the competition was that what, not enough work units were being uh, assigned. I think there was a problem across all of the folding clients is people couldn't get work units. And one of the things that we discovered was if we set the client type of our GPU or CPU um, to be uh, beta or advanced, we got more work units. So we actually did that. And that was one of the reasons that we were able to beat Shopify. So anyway, very happy with this build. Um, uh, let me know if you like this content by hitting the like button and subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching.